bears, sparrows, elephants, cacti, algae, deer, and tigers. Any list illustrating the huge diversity of species on the earth is inevitably an unending one. Many animals and plants inhabit our gardens. Others live on high mountains or in colorful, shimmering coral reefs. All of them have adapted to the environment in order to survive. This is all the more true in the case of animals that live in deserts or in extremely cold regions. Unfortunately, we are increasingly destroying the habitats of animals. On one hand, we are clearing forests and polluting seas and coastal areas. And on the other hand, we are trying to protect the environment by recycling wastes and building national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Have you ever considered yourself more important than animals? Well, you should not, because animals play an important role in maintaining the balance of ecosystem. And they need to be taken care of so that they can continue playing their role in ecosystem and make Earth a better place for living beings. They are crucial for supporting life on Earth. There are various factors which affect the existence of wildlife on Earth. Human interference is the dominant cause for the eradication of many innocent species. Industrialization, urbanization and deforestation in large scale have led to decreasing numbers of animals. In this short clipping, you have just seen there are a large number of extinct animals all because of human hindrance. And some animals are at the brink of extinction popularly known as endangered species. IUCN Red List on Red Data List was found in 1964 is the world's most comprehensive inventory of the global conservation status of biological species. IUCN Red List is set upon precise criteria to evaluate the extinction risk of thousands of species and subspecies. These criteria are relevant to all species and all regions of the world. One of the most gravely affected species from this place are the allied big cats, the tiger. Tiger is a large solitary cat with yellow brown coat stripped with black, native to the forest of Asia but becoming increasingly endangered. The earliest found remains of tiger come from China 
and they are dated at more than 2 million years ago this early fossil remains indicate that the tiger was much smaller than that it is today however it is strongly believed that the tiger is related to the saber tooth from about 35 million years ago they evolved into some subspecies about 25 million years ago and that is where the tiger fits in we should save tigers because a home for tigers is equal to a home for others with just one tiger we protect around 100 square kilometers of forest area to save tigers we need to save forest habitats across asia where they live and by saving these places we not only allow tigers to roam freely but also many other endangered species that live there healthy tiger populations means healthy ecosystems as a large predator the tiger plays a key role in maintaining healthy ecosystems ecosystems are important as they supply both nature and humans with fresh water food and many other vital resources the tiger is a great survivor the tiger has evolved over thousands of years even though this mighty big cat is been trapped skinned pushed out of its home yet it clings to survival barely in a few patches of forest scattered across asia this is a big enough reason to give this species a chance for survival tigers are a lifeline for many people tigers can directly help some of the world's poorest communities For one thing, where tigers exist, tourists go, and where tourists go, money can be made by communities with few alternatives for making a living. Tiger conservation projects also help provide other alternative livelihoods for rural communities that are not only more sustainable but which can raise income levels too. The main threat to the decrement in the tiger's population is poaching. but i'm quite sure that none of my friends are born to poach then why what is the need of this documentary before me telling you let's look at the reasons of the decrement of population of tigers one is of course poaching second climatic changes and the third destruction of habitat Poaching is done by a minor section of the society. So let's look at the other two. What are the main factors resulting in climatic changes and destruction of habitat? The first thing that will pop up in your brains is industrialization. What is industrialization? Industrialization means setting up of industries. The best way to overcome this problem is to boycott the industrial products. Saying no to products like carbonated drinks, food packages can help in saving the habitats of tigers. We aren't forcing you to stop the poachers, but it's just an humble request from our deepest of our hearts to stop the use of products like beverages, carbonated drinks, food packets which contributes in the destruction of the habitats of tigers on a large scale. Someone very rightly say, charity begins from home. Friends, it's high time now. The national pride, the tiger is on the verge of extinction. It is the duty of the Indian citizens to save them. So let's stop using the factory made food products and use the home made buttermilk, lime water and other special juices. The largest member of the cat family, tigers, are well renowned for their power and strength. At one point of time there were eight subspecies of tigers but now only five remain as three of them became extinct in the 20th century over the last 100 years of hunting and deforestation their vast numbers of hundreds and thousands have uh, perhaps become fewer than 3000 tigers are hunted as trophies and also for their body parts which are used in traditional chinese medicine all five subspecies of tigers are endangered and many protection projects are in place bengal tigers which are also known as indian tigers are the most common and number about half of the total population of the wild tigers since ages ago 
Bengal tiger have become a great part of Indian tradition and lore. Tigers live alone and aggressively send marked territories to keep their rivals away. They are powerful nocturnal animals which travel miles in search of buffalo, deer, wild pigs and other large mammals. They lie in wait with their distinctive coat at Skemuklage and creep close to their victims to attack with a quick spring and a fatal pounce. Tigers are considered to be one of the most fascinating creatures out there in the world. There is a great deal of information to learn about them, so get ready to explore some wonderful tiger facts. They will help you to gain more insight about the lives and even the future of these animals. Every single tiger in the world has their own distinct pattern of stripes. This is one of the easiest ways to tell them apart from each other. These stripes are used to help the tiger to hide in their natural environment so that they can sneak up on their prey. All subspecies of tigers are extremely territorial. Tigers mean arrow. The word tiger came from the Greek word tigris, which is derived from a Persian word that means arrow. Probably the name came to be due to the comparison between the speed of the animal and an arrow or because of the tigris river. The oldest fossil remains of tigers are believed to be about 2 million years old. They were found in various areas of China. There are believed to be less than 2000 Bengal tigers left in the world. However, they are not the most endangered of the subspecies, being the South China tiger, the subspecies with the least individuals left. Tigers have eyes with round pupils, unlike domestic cats, which have slitted pupils. This is because domestic cats are nocturnal, whereas tigers are crepuscular. They hunt primarily in the morning and evening. Despite not being strongly adapted to the dark, tiger's night vision is about six times better than humans. Tigers do not normally roar at other animals, but instead they roar to communicate with far off tigers. A tiger about to attack will therefore not roar, but hiss and purr instead. When several tigers are present at a kill, the males will often wait for females and cubs to eat first, unlike lions, which do the opposite. Tigers rarely argue or fight over a kill and simply wait turns. The markings on a tiger's forehead closely resemble the Chinese character for king, giving tigers a cultural status as a regal animal. Just like house cats, the markings on a tiger's fur are also found on their skin, so even a shaved tiger would still show its stripes. Unlike almost all other big cats, Tigers are adept swimmers. They enjoy bathing and often play in the water when young. As adults, they often swim several kilometers to hunt or to cross rivers. And at least one has been recorded to have swum almost 30 kilometers in a day. Tigers are completely blind for the first week of their lives. About half do not survive to adulthood. Tigers prefer to hunt large prey by ambush. If you look at a tiger, it is less likely to attack as it has lost the element of surprise. In some locations in India, people traditionally wear a mask on the back of their head while walking through forests to prevent tigers from pouncing from behind. Tigers do not normally view humans as prey but will attack if threatened. Most cases of purposeful human predation are due to lack of tiger's normal prey species due to habitat loss. Tigers cannot purr. To show happiness, tigers squint or close their eyes. This is because losing vision lowers defense. So tigers and many other cats only purposefully do so when they feel comfortable and safe. Tigers can sprint at over 60 km per hour for short distances. Tigers can leap distances over 6 meters and jump up to 5 meters vertically. Their muscular legs are so powerful 
that they can remain standing even when dead only one in 10 tiger hunts are successful so tigers typically go several days without eating before gorging themselves on over 30 kg of meat after a triumphant hunt although tigers can comfortably fast for several days They star more quickly than other animals due to their immense size. A tiger will starve to death in only 2 or 3 weeks whereas humans take 30 to 40 days. Tigers have been known to imitate the call of other animals to successfully attract prey. Tigers have antiseptic saliva. They lick their wounds to disinfect them. There are 6 subspecies of tiger living today. the siberian tiger panthera tigris altaica the south china tiger panthera tigris amoyensis the indo chinese tiger panthera tigris corbetti the malayan tiger panthera tigris jacksoni the sumatran tiger panthera tigris sumatra and the bengal tiger panthera tigris tigris three subspecies of tigers have gone all extinct in the last 80 years the bali tiger Panthera tigris balica was purposefully hunted to extinction in Bali due to its cultural status as evil. The Javan tiger, Panthera tigris sondaica, was hunted to extinction although its numbers had been dwindling due to the habitat loss to coffee and rubber plantations. The Caspian tiger, Panthera tigris virgata, went extinct. due to the extensive hunting of both it and its prey in china poaching tigers or using them for traditional medicine has been illegal for many years and is punishable with death in traditional medicine there are many more potent and easily available medicines than tiger pulse which were historically used more for their exotic status than for any purported medicinal properties Unfortunately tigers are still posed in some areas of Southeast Asia for consumption in traditional medicines especially in Laos and Cambodia Apart from their various subspecies tiger can have a number of different unusual fur colorations these include white gold black and even blue all these are caused by simple hair color genes There have been reports but no confirmed cases of blue tigers also called Maltese tigers. Tigers live for about 25 years both in captivity and in wild. Tigers in general have been found to have a better memory than any other animal including humans. Tigers have a brain that weighs over 300 grams. It is the largest brain of all carnivores except polar bear. and is comparable to the size of a chimpanzee's brain there are only about 3500 tigers left in the wild there are a greater number in captivity tigers are solitary animals and only group together either when permitted by a large kill or in case of a mother with cubs a group of tigers is called an ambush or a strike have color vision like humans project tiger scheme has been under implementation since 1973 as a central sponsor scheme of government of india the main objective of the scheme is to ensure a viable population of tigers in india for scientific economic aesthetic cultural and ecological values and to preserve for all times areas of biological importance as a natural heritage for the benefit education and enjoyment of the people The main objective under the, under the schemes include wildlife management, protective measures, and site-specific eco-development to reduce the dependency of local communities on tiger reserve resources. Project Tiger is a quite a successful scheme launched by the government. We acknowledge their honest endeavors from the depth of our hearts.